collaboration with Shen XO here on YouTube. We're doing a collab on Iggy Azalea's and Rita Ora's Black Widow. And I am so excited that I have found my Rita. I wanted to do a tutorial for this music video so bad, but I could not make a decision whether I wanted to be Rita or Iggy. So I asked uh, if Shannon wanted to join me for a collaboration and she said yes. And we kind of decided that she was going to be Rita and I was going to be Iggy. So definitely don't forget to check out Shannon's amazing Rita Ora look. It is so super sexy, smoking hot. I love it. So yeah, without any further ado, if you want to know how to get this look right here, then please stay tuned. So to start this look off, I'm taking a new favorite. This is my MAC Care Blend Essential Oils in Grapefruit and Chamomile. So I'm just going to take about four drops of that and apply that to my face. It's very early right now and I feel like my skin needs a little bit of glow to it because I look dead. I'm going to take the Becca Shearing Skin Perfector in Opal and just take one pump of that and then also apply that to the face. For my foundation today, I'm gonna take L'Oreal's True Match in C1. And then I'm buffing this in using my Sigma F80 brush. And give yourself that flawless face. For concealer, I'm gonna go with Max Pro Longwear in NC15. And go crazy on this bish. And then, as always, buffing this in using my Sigma F86. Oh, poke myself in the eye. Now I'm going to set this all using a little bit of powder. This is Max Studio Fix Powder in NW10. And then I'm gonna do brows and one eye off camera, and then I will be back. First thing I'm doing is applying a base to my eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. And I'm using my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot for this. I'm first gonna highlight my eye using my Shaping Powder by MAC in Emphasize. And I'm just highlighting my brow bone and inner corners with this. Then for the lid, I'm going into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar and I'm taking the really soft pinky color. And with a really big, soft, fluffy brush, you just want to place that onto the lid to get a soft wash of that color. And I love this touch of pink in the look because it kind of changes the entire feel of it. it. It makes it more interesting. I am taking a little bit of Kid Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm just softly defining my crease with this just because I don't really have deep set eyes and I do want to have that illusion. And I noticed that Iggy's eyes aren't the biggest of eyes either. So her makeup artist does this trick as well. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take Copper Plate by MAC and mix it with a little bit of that kid eyeshadow. And just to give the lower lash line a little bit more definition, I'm packing copper plate on on the outer corner here of my lower lash line and then continuing with kid only I'm going to drag it further in so you have a dark concentration of copper plate on the outer part and kid on the inner part on my waterline I'm popping a bit of jumbo pencil by NYX in milk and then just on the inner corner only I'm packing on a little bit more of that emphasize to really open up my eyes. For the winged liner, I'm taking NYC Liquid Liner in Black and we're just going for a really um, soft winged line. Scoop over. Um, it just has a regular same old line as always, but I sup right in the middle of my lid and that will keep the inner part of the eyes clean and soft and natural, but you still have that wing going on. And for that starting line, you kind of want to aim for the end of your eyebrow. And then I like to go in with a black matte eyeshadow and really clean up that edge. And with this, you can also really make a really nice soft flick at the end. Now all I'm going to do to finish off the look is apply a little bit of mascara. This is my Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D in Extra Black. And for lashes, I'm going to go with the XO Beauty um, Felines. And when you cut the felines in half, 
you have the beginning point that flares out to that really flared out end and you want to cut it in the middle and then you have this really nice flared up short you know natural lash and you're just gonna pop it on the outer part of your eye and then you have this really nice swoop for cheeks there wasn't a whole lot going on other than a really nice soft sculpting and soft blush and soft glow so that's what we're going for today I'm first gonna contour softly using my Illamesca eyeshadow in heroin Now for blush, I'm using a little bit of Launch Away by MAC. And this is just a beautiful, soft, peachy color. And that is exactly what you want to go for. Soft and peachy. <laughs> and then for my glow today, I'm again taking my Ben Nye Lumiere Lux Powder in Ice. Just because this gives the most stunning glow of life. For lips, you want to go for a classic red, and for that I'm mixing two lip mixes by MAC. I'm using crimson and red, and red because it is a little bit more orange based and a little bit more bright, and crimson for that nice deepness. concludes my Iggy Azalea Black Widow inspired makeup tutorial slash collaboration with the amazing Shan XO. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my website NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Help me reach more people in the world. Don't forget to check out Shannon's video. I will put the link down below plus some annotations in the screen and just check her out. I love her. She's amazing and you're going to love her video. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.